Hello and welcome to another Nico Media tutorial. Uh, today I will want to make something like this here. But uh, a few days ago, uh, someone asked me how uh, I would model such a asteroid and uh, how to texture it and maybe put a space station in here. But you don't want it the base space station in a, such a crater, more on the edge or something else here, and to flatten out the asteroid here and then something else. And so we will try it. Why not? And yeah, and this guy who asked me did a really a generous donation, so thanks again for this. And yeah, let's start. I have a little code, so sorry if you don't understand me. So okay, don't understand me. My English to understand my English is not easy at all. But we will try it. So first of all, we start with a uh, landscape object. And here I go to Zurich and our asteroid is almost done. No. Uh, now we have to shape it a little bit so I don't want such a round one but I want to be stay parametric for the moment so I don't want to uh, convert this landscape but now if I go in the uh, scale mode or something else I can just scale in one direction you see uh, in all directions not in one direction that's not what I want so for this I could I select my landscape and take the correction deformer here. Hold my shift key so that it becomes child of the landscape. And now if I want to scale my land and my correction deformer, I can scale how I want it, you see? And we are still parametric here. So let's make it something like this a little bit. So, yes. And here in the landscape, we can play with the scale and something else with the seed. Let's see what we get. Multifactor, no. I hear sometimes the correction deformer makes some problems, so delete it for the moment. Let's try to find a nice shape here. So something what we like. Let's go here, up and here, up. Oh, yeah, something like, okay, this maybe. Let's play with the scale a little bit. Okay, now again I take it, uh, deformer, this, this uh, correction deformer. T for scale and scale down. Something like this here maybe okay let's try it the next thing I want to do is well maybe this is too high here but we can correct this later I do a right click on my landscape now and uh, current state to object so I can Deactivate this for the moment and work with this one. Now let's see what we can do. We, we need some uh, flatten out here, so, so some platform. So I take my, I go in the point mode and take my magnet tool. And here we could work some But that's not really what I want. So it starts to flatten out here. But it's not really what I want. We can now try another deformer. And we take the smoothing deformer. 
Okay, that's not really what I want. But for this, in the smoothing deformer, we can go to the fall off and take in spherical fall off. So, smoothing deformer and put it somewhere here. Make this T for scale and make the deformer a little bigger. You see, now it works just here on this side. And that's almost okay and now I'm I'm again do this current state to object this I can delete and now again I go to my magnet tool and let's see here the strength no the not the strength the axis here I just want to move the with the magnet tool I just want to move in the y axis so now we get a nice deepening here. So here we can put an a space station or something else in. Okay. Maybe a little uh, back. So 100, 100 again and here a little. Normally I would do this with the Sculpt tool, but um, this guy who asked me, he has the broadcast version and uh, this has no sculpting, so we do it like this. And I think with this we can work, yes. Looks fine. Next thing is, we want to texture it. Let's see how it looks in a, in a subdivision surface. So select the landscape and Alt, click on the subdivision surface. Or maybe it's too smooth. I will we'll see if we need it or not. For the moment, not. So let's make a material. And yeah, my material, my default material is everything is uh, deactivated. Yours looks other, maybe. Uh, quite sure it looks other. But uh, it doesn't matter, you see what I do. First, I take a color, yes, okay. And I need displacement. Put this on my landscape object, and I want and cubic mapping. So let's make here a render region so we can see what we do. Okay. Now I want some noise. Let's go to the noise. And let's about 20 centimeters should be okay here. Or maybe more, let's see. 40 sub polygon displacement. Now we will see something. <laughs> I love this. This is great. Okay, of course, we are too small, and I want another. I want another noise. So I take Naki noise. Where is Naki? Naki, Naki, Naki here. And go to about 2000 scale. That looks more than like a stone here. It looks nice. Okay. What's with the subdivision? Okay, I don't like this to be behind, but maybe we smooth this, this down later too. But it already looks quite nice. Let's see what we can do here with the smoothing deformer. This is the, this spikes here are too, too big for me. So again, take the smoothing deformer, make a fall off, and here. 
Yeah, again, it's theoretically swallow, why not? T for scale and make it bigger. Something like that. Let's see what we get now. Yeah, it looks better, I think. Here it's too much. Too much. Okay. We could start with the landscape again and make it not so high, but but, but uh, so we see how we can fix this. Okay, we can work here. So with the magnet tool for the moment too. So again, I make current state object. And go to point mode and take my magnet tool. And put this a little like to in the so little smaller. If you want to change the, the, the brush size, just uh, hold your middle mouse button and go from left, left to right. And if you go from up to down, you see the, the, the hardness, so, so the, the, the strongness, so the strength of the brush. So. so I can put these spikes I don't want. A little back here, so maybe this is bigger. So not too far in because it looks boring then. I think this can be okay. Let's see what it gets. Uh, here we want to see our Station. Yeah, I think that's okay for the moment. <coughs> we have nice sharp things here. Yes, okay. And now let's see what we can do that it looks more stony, more rocky. Uh, it already looks not bad, but but uh, this uh, because of the ambient occlusion. So, but now I take the same displacement I have here, uh, the same texture, right click, copy it, and drag it, and here in the color channel. So uh, that looks much better. Because now we can uh, make here a uh, layer out of this. So go right click and go to layer. Then effects and colorize. And click under this black bar here and you get an, such a square. And here we can colorize this a little bit. So let's look at it. this and here the same but brighter let's see what we get now okay no, it doesn't look bad if you just want it gray so, so uh, make it black and white Or you can even go again in an effect and go to your saturation and do the saturation down so you have it black and white again. But so you can play even more. So if you say, let's try something else. Uh, looks nice too, but 
maybe I leave it like this because later with the with the global elimination and we get the the color from the from this uh, from the environment. So so let's wait what we get. And of course, I want a little reflection too. Go to the Fresnel and dielectric. And here asphalt should be okay. Don't need this, I don't need this. Give about 50 and yeah, something like this. We do this later. So this should be our the displacement, maybe we we can play even more. So so let's go to the north and uh, make a layer here too. So, and let's layer some noises. Shader, another noise. Boop, 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 boop. Of course, this is too big, and I want to overlay it maybe. So, and we need this bigger too, but let's see which noise we can use here. <laughs> Something crazy, maybe. With bigger scale, of course. Go to the cycles and make one cycle. <laughs> we get a lot of frogs here. <laughs> and you see our uh, thing here. I just show you, we, I let it, I, it's not my result, but uh, I want to show you something. What you can do if you want it like this, but we, we lost our platform here, so with this, with this displacement. And so let's uh, try to do, let this displacement just work everywhere else, but not on the platform. We do this like this. We go to our landscape object. Then we go to our simulate. No, not simulate. Or simulate, no character, we need our character. And go to the paint tool. I think the I hope the paint tool is in the broadcast version too. I think it is. And just paint on these parts. You don't want the displacer. Something like this. And I want it smoother. So I go to my. Vertex tech here, double click it again. I'm again in the paint tool, of course. And here, instead of add, I go to smooth. Let's say two steps and apply all. And you see it comes smoother here, it becomes smoother. So, something like this. Now we have this vertex map here. Now let's go to our material. Let's go out here of this. Uh, so Again, here, so go to our material, the displacement, in our layer, make a new shader. The shader is now under effects and the vertex map. Put it under our noises, and in the vertex map, we drag in our vertex map from here. And what we have to do is, we have to set it from normal to layer mask. This will be now the, the opposite way, I think. Let's see how this works. Uh, inverted. And you see, we have everywhere we have this 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 weird uh, shapes, but not on, in this area here. If we deactivate it, it looks like this. And if we activated it, we have this. But we can let this this overlay here. 
but not so much, maybe a little bit. Yeah, why not like this? That looks weird. Yeah, but now we don't need the vertex map because we gone back with this noise here. And so we have a nice thing. Yeah, I like it like this. That looks nice for me. Okay. Good so far. And now again I do one. I go to my layer here. Copy this shader again. Go back to my color in the layer and shader paste channel this is the channel what we have now for the displacement nope it's not what does this here this is a shader i used long time ago looks nice but not what i need anyway go back to the Color shader and just paste it in here. We don't need the layer here. Paste. So now I have the same like the, the displacement. Yeah, this is not the same. And if I want, I can uh, again take an effect, colorize. Take some color. Do I have maybe something to? Lotus preset, let's see, no. pattern, something rocky, no. Let's try this heat for, just for fun. Let's see what we get. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, it's just, just for playing. Remove it and again colorize. A little colorizing doesn't seem wrong to me, so just here, here a little, then here again a little darker, here. Okay, let's see what we get. really nice but, but you can play forever with this let's make it here brighter and yeah, that's okay for me in the moment I could could play hours for this with this but I think it's a, a nice stony thing here And now let's uh, light this. Yes, let's make something. For the uh, lighting, of course, I use my Cinema Forte. I did my rig, my Nico Media Scene rig below. Drag it in my scene. I don't need uh, a floor, <laughs> you see. <laughs> So, go to my background and floor, deactivate the floor and the background, send the HDRI, I need an HDRI file and uh, the Sybil Loader has a uh, quite nice one. Sybil Loader is a, a free plugin with HDRIs and uh, it, you will find the description in the, in the uh, you will find the link in the description. So, it just comes with this. And for the lighting, I take this uh, Milky Way small HDRI and drag again on a rig. Uh, no, not now. Uh, but I should save this. I should save this project. Asteroid. Asteroid. So. 
uh, no, not just so the tests. So, and uh, yeah, now we don't see much because we have no illumination, no global illumination activated. So, check the global illumination. And we get something like this. But now I want uh, to light come from from the front, so I just go to my preview here of the on the of the rig, make it bigger. But I must think it's too small. Yeah. So let's hide this for the moment, this landscape. And we have now just our preview. And let's see, I want like this and something like this should be okay. Hide the preview. Yes, now I have more light, I have more light not really, but, but better. Yeah, that, that's nice. That's nice. I have some nice reflections here. Stone looks very good for me. Okay. That looks really nice here. <laughs> the tutorial results are often much better than, than, than my tests before. So, now we can start to make something like a, a space station here. Save the project. Uh, at first I want a background picture of course, so, so uh, I go to my background and floor. I want to use a background picture here. You can do this everything, of course, without uh, the the scene rig too. But uh, it's much easier with the rig. So, and it costs only ten euro, and you will be satisfied. And the next update will come soon. But at the moment, I'm a little, a little, a little, a little, a little you you hear it maybe. Not so really full here. So it doesn't matter what I said. Uh, I will want to background picture it's in the civil loader too so we have everything here just drag it in the background picture slot here and we should have a background picture then ah, looks nice so and now let's make something like a, a space station here but the I save this file and make a new file and uh, make something like this. Let's say I make a tube of uh, 80 to 100, maybe height. Right. So it's here, should be okay. Then uh, I want just a half of it, so that's. To and convert it to a polygon object. So for this, I take my edit optimize script. You know it. Okay, everything is in the description for the, for the plugin. I explained often enough. I think now <laughs> what 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 does the edit optimize script? So for now, and I, I take these two edges here and dissolve it. Right click, dissolve. Okay. And I want some more segments. So I make, go in the edge mode, yes, and UL, uh, UB for, for a ring selection. Take this ring selection, MF for an edge cut, and here, let's see, two cuts should be okay here. No angles, I wanna see these cuts here, and apply, so okay. Then again, UB for a ring selection and in this direction. 
MF again for the edge cut and here I want 4 apply so okay now I have some segments to play with and let's see for some just for fun no, do not know UL for loop selection I take this one and this one I don't want it on the front here so uh, I make U N for a phone selection and I go to this one and with the, with the control key I can subtract the uh, selection so then D for an extrude let's say about five centimeter but here you have to be uh, careful it, it sh the maximum angle should be uh, over uh, 90 degrees but in this in this case it's not so so uh, it's not so important but if we would uh, take this to this this uh, polygons here then it is it's important that it comes everything out correctly so five is okay then again take ul for loop selection and just take this one and drag it out so i want to show you what i mean so d if i go to d now and then extrude it it works okay because we are over 100 degrees here so we go back now and go let's say to 89 maybe it works now but, but because i've shown it to you but, but now you see what we have now this is the reason so the uh, back and if i go to night it should be enough no night is not enough 90 90.1 90 90.1 should not sorry 90 point one should be enough you see now it works <laughs> it has to be over 90 so and it agrees and here I want five so but no I, I don't want it here to such as it is strong I think so you and for the form selection control click and now D and apply okay then uh, UL again for loop selection. Let's take this loop and this loop. Just playing around. This, uh, and I don't want the, the, the downside here, just the upside. And for this, our UN helps again. Our form selection tag. Control click here, control click here, and control click here. And control click here so and D and apply it and uh, maybe a new transform again so it looks looks a little crazy but no it, it, it is that's nothing because if here there were some windows nobody sees it. but that doesn't matter it's their problem so okay then uh I make in you no don't need it that's enough uh, for playing i think so maybe we do here some bridges no why oh, why not make another thing here so that's a little work but why not maybe it looks funny we will see it uh, B for the bridge tool and let's see what we get uh, I have to first I have to select this this and now B for the bridge tool go from this edge to this edge and bridge it oh why not let's make this here again of course yeah there is an another i'll show you another uh let's see if it works here 
go back and uh, I want to UL here all here and all here then U N for the font selection and I don't want this I don't want this and I don't want this and don't want this here so and there is an uh, other plugin this is this, this I, it's this French I don't know you will find the links in the in the, in the description uh, and this can select every second or third point however you want but it works not every time but the selected one is okay gap two should be okay, okay apply you see I have every second uh, selected now and that's what I want so I can breach this and make B and can breach very fast here one two three four that's okay that's not so hard job So, 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 and almost done. Okay, and the last one. It's not, not really okay now because we started here and we ended here, but we want one seat is at, at the end. So, okay, let's see what we can do now more. Oh, that's enough. So now let's make the, with the same plugin that this can more, this can make it every uh, second plugin or every third plugin. It can uh, make uh, select polygons by size, the same polygon size can uh, mirror the, the selection and something else so, so it can uh, can do a lot and now I want it in the plugin cities it selects subly with looseness code and I want now the random selection so now let's see what we get a count 800 select should be okay maybe seed is okay or do it just with the seed apply and you see it just randomly select some some okay that's fine for me but i don't want on the, the top polygon selected i don't want this polygon selected so i have to play around a little bit so you and again for the phone selection deck i don't want the tops so Control click on it, so okay. But here on the front, it's okay now for me. Here, I don't want the tops. Here, I don't want tops. Here, I don't want tops. Here, the same. Here, the same. This phone selection deck is, is, is a big helper, really big helper. Uh, I, uh, everything I see se I select will become uh, a window a, 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 li a light window light or something so it okay okay oh no not okay and now okay and now I make the set selection. Here, so I start. Uh, I start my. I save my selection. If you don't have it in your tool party set selection deck, you have it under mesh. No, not under mesh. Come on, uh, select and set selection. Okay. Now I want more of these guys here. 
So, put it in a cloner. Mucraft cloner. Just select the tube and then the alt click on the cloner. How high is this one? It's uh, 35 high, so let's make the cloner 35 high. But it can intersect too, why not? Let's make it 20. We don't see it really. So, and here now on the cloner, with the cloner selected, I take a random defect uh, effector that don't want to random the position. I want just the rotation here. Well, something like that. Okay, and make more of them and make render instances. So, again, with the render deformer. Maybe we do a random size a little bit. A scale, a scale it uniform and Maybe scale it a little bit so something like this. Okay. Yeah, let's see. That's okay. So deactivate the cloner for a moment. I want to make some windows here. For this we have our selection deck, so double click the selection deck and now I for inner extrude and preserve groups, no. And now drag it a little inner, so we have some windows. And D for extrude and extrude it a little to the inner side. So now we have windows. Here they intersect a little bit, but we don't see this later. The next step is I want to bevel this whole thing a little bit so we have we, we catch more reflections. I take a bevel deformer and with the bevel deformer I go to about point 0.2 I think should be okay. Then everything this could be this could take now a little while because we have a lot of uh, of edges here so Put it under the tube and wait a little bit. So okay, you see everything is buried. If you don't have the buried deformer, poof. <laughs> if you don't have the buried deformer, you <coughs> you have to select every edge. But uh, not every edge because if you select every edge, you do, would select these, 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 everything too. But how I would do it without the paper deformer. It's a hard disk. Can I work with the edge and the BUN and the Fong? Let's see. And yeah, I could do something like this. And yeah, it's hard. You, you would have to select everything here. That would be hard to discover, but I, I hope you have it. So, good back here. Very deformer, yes. It's been a, no, again a while. But I saw something I don't like. I don't like these things here. So I go to my very deformer, to topology, and from default to uniform. That should fix this. Yep, okay, and now I make an, an object out of this. So, so just right click and uh, current state the object, and I can delete this with the bevel. So, it's it's better to work with it faster. And we have our space station more than this. So, put this all in a, in a uh, null object. So, select all and Alt G. 
station. Then I copy it, so control C and go back to the other project. And here control V and we don't see nothing because our station is here somewhere and it's much too big. So go to the station, T for scale and scale it down. So I make a uh, camera here, so... Okay, and secure tag, protection tag, why not? So, now back to my station and place it somewhere here. Put it a little bit in, in the mountains, why not? So, something like this. Yes, it's not, it's not bad. Of course, now we need some material for the station. So, I have to break a, sec a second, sorry. So I'm back. <coughs> Sorry, well, maybe I should take a, a, a little bit of whiskey or something else for the cold, but later. So a new material for the rooms for the for the space station. Double click in the material manager. Some metal, metal. So I just need my reflectance channel with the GTX. And uh, Fresnel, conductor, and what we take here, iridium sounds spacey. And no, 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 no. Oops, oops. Okay. I take this for this. The oops. Let's open it metal on the tube and then I need some light material here I just use luminance Oof, something like this okay ah, windows okay it's, it's a word what a Mac user maybe don't want to write but which is <laughs> So and put it again on the tube and now with the material tag selected we have here the selection slot and here we drag the selection tag in. So we have it just on our windows. Save it. Let's see what we get here. Without this, yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, I like it really. Just ask why is it here and here? It's not bad, but but. Oh, that's because here is the, the, the space between, but why not? Well, maybe you make the cloner here. And put it like down, so something like this. But this you can do however you want, of course. And now I will make, well, have here some control lights so that, that, that people know where, where the uh, asteroid ends. So go back to my landscape, the edge mode, then a UM for a path selection. And let's say some lights from, eh, from here to here, maybe from here so, yeah that should work. 
and uh, make a spline out of this path now. So edge to spline. If you don't have it here in your toolbar, then you go somewhere else. Mesh commands edge to spline here. Okay. And now we have here, let's see this our lights. <coughs> Sorry. And now let's make some poof, some spheres. Clone these spheres. So select the sphere, Mograph, Cloner, Alt key, and boop. And in the cloner, we go to the object mode and put this light spline in the object here. Now we have our spheres here, but a little too big. Go down to our sphere, T for scale. Scale it down. Something like this. But because of the uh, displacer, so we would want it to, maybe we want to see this, this uh, lights here. Let's make a second light here. So, so copy this material, control key and just drag it on the side. Double click it, lights. I'll make it white for the moment. And put it on the sphere. Let's see what we get here. If we render this. Not so bad. It looks interesting. <laughs> Why not? But maybe we should put it on a. Uh, we should make it higher. So uh, save it because we lose this here and everything. And I go to my sphere. Disable the cloner. Go to my sphere and make the sphere solo. This plugin is in the description too. <coughs> there is a plugin in the R17 that has a solo mode. But I prefer this from Nitrum and it's better for me. So I have my sphere here. Now I want to go from this in this sphere from Ecosahedron to standard. And now I convert it. Just see on your keyboard. Polygon mode UL. Let's deactivate this for the moment. Yeah, if you just uh, give it this uh, selection that doesn't exist, so uh, the material disappears. I go to here and drag this down a little bit. So E for, for move, then hold your control key and drag it down. Something like this. <coughs> oh, come on. So, next is UL, and I take this loop, and this here, then UF to field selection, and I just want this in the middle, so press on it, and OK. Then I for inner extrude, preserve groups, now yes, I want it. Something like this, and T for scale, uh, T for extrude, and extrude it in a little bit. So now I want again a selection deck for this sphere here. So make a selection deck, set selection. And now I take my, my uh, material deck and drag in the selection. Now I have it just here on the sphere. Okay, and back with the solo mode. But okay, and activate the cloner. Now, in the cloner, I go to the transform and put this sphere a little higher. So, and I don't want to align it. So, uh, go to object and align clones. No. 
and what I want is uh, I don't want the count. I want the steps so you can see how how much space has to be between the clones. And let's say something like this. Okay. On this sphere, I put this metal material too. But here on the front. So now we have here everywhere the metal, but uh, on the sphere we have the light. Let's see what we get now. Yes, that looks better. Maybe they are a little too big, these spheres, but, but this you can do however you want it. So I will put T for scale. I scale this here. But I want to scale it just uh, in the Z and X axis, not in the Y. So I go to the Y axis, you see it becomes white. And now I hold my shift key and now I can scale it and scale it a little down, something like this. Let's see what we get now. And it's a little better, I think. Okay. But I wanted more to the station because of the this place bend. So I go to here on our own and to the to the X. No, nope, not the X. The Z. Z axis. Okay. Let's say that's fine. Okay. Go back to our camera and let's see what we do, what we get. Yeah, it looks nice. I like it. Maybe let's see how it looks if we let if we crank up the light. 200 maybe too, too far. And for this we have to do a, a good render. But 150 I can take it for sure. Yep. Okay, I will make a better render and be back in a second. So now I'm back and we have here a render. Here we see it. It's it's, it's uh, the the middle uh, quality render. You see we have um, but it only needs forty three seconds. And this is a high quality render. Of course, he has nothing uh, with with. Uh, no noise, nothing is with with uh, uh, almost five minutes, but it's more than okay for this this picture. I think I like it like this. Maybe it's a little too smooth here somewhere, and then here, so you, you could um, add some noise or something else, and then and, and some bump maybe. Yeah, let's try. Maybe we find a way, but. Uh, we can do it here a lot in Photoshop too, then. So, but let's do maybe add a little bump. A bump. So let's go back to the low settings. And uh, go to our material here. Let's uh, hide for a moment our <coughs> spheres here, our cloner and the station so we don't have to 
to rain date every time. Okay. And go to the pump and give it just some noise. And let's see what we get here. Yeah, and it does not look so smooth now. Maybe another noise. Dents. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I think I like this. Reflectance and pump strength higher. Yes, I will do it now and next another render. So see you in a second. So okay, now it looks better, of course, because this was before with the flat thing here. And now with the bump, it looks like this is much better. Okay, nice. Maybe we should do something like an, an antenna here or something else. Let's make one more light from this. Just one, put it here up on the top with a red light. So we have a little color in, in, in it. So. Uh, just go to the sphere here, copy it out one. E, so just see where we get it. Here it is. Yeah. Oh, my, my, my mistake. I have to go here. So. Somewhere here, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. It's just to, to have something huh? maybe here. So it's not so easy. It's there are three dimensions. <laughs> and let's make it red light for this and put the red light on it okay let's see again what we have with this well, maybe it's okay like a fast render Yes, why not? Here we can add in Photoshop maybe a nice lens flare, something else. Yeah, so let's make a nice render out of this and then go to Photoshop. Yep, and, and just enhance it a little bit. Okay. Make another render, see you a second. So now I'm back and uh, this is our render uh, result here. And uh, I saved it already, I saved it as a 16-bit PSD and opened it in Photoshop. So let's go to Photoshop. Let's go to Photoshop, let's go to, let's here. So, let's see what we can do. First, I with Control J, I copy my background folder here and make a smart object out of this layer. So, uh, I have a shortcut for this, but right-click, new smart object, uh, convert, 
convert to smart object. Now with Control Shift A I go in the camera raw filter and first what I do I go to the clarity and put it up and it looks much nicer immediately. Let's play with the vibrance a little bit. No, that's not my fault. No, maybe a little less saturation. Hmm. No, it's okay. Just the clarity is is nice here. Maybe a contrast, maybe. No exposure. This could we do at the end. Let's see just the clarity for the moment, okay. Now with uh, Control, Shift, Alt and E, I make a new layer out of the layer uh, underneath this layer. Make again a smart object and go to the filter, Nick Collection and Color FX. This is a this is free this is a free plugin. You will find the script uh, the link in the description of course. So, let's see what we can do there. Darken, light and center I use almost every time. But here I'm not sure at the moment. I let it here but make a new filter. And let's see what we can take. This is no, I don't. Blended ones I don't need here. Not really, no. Uh, classical soft focus. Yeah, why not? This hinzufügen means just add, so add a new filter. And just go through, you can go, you click one uh, filter here and then, then go with the arrow keys you can go through. Colorize, looks nice too. And so you can find your desired. Looks nice too. Dark contrast, no, maybe. The contrast color range, I haven't seen this. This should work normally. Yes, I like this because it makes, yeah. So take a new filter, contrast color range is okay. Dark contrasts. No, not really. Dark lights in the heaven. Oh, the detail, detail extractor. Maybe too much. But we can go down to, let's say, 10%. Yeah, why not? Yet. The skin softener I don't need here because what this does, I can pick a color and everything will be softened. And this, let's say this uh, this color here, you see it gets softer, becomes softer. Don't need this. Okay, so no, 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 no. Well, there's something. Oh, let's mix the screen here. Yeah, why not? The green. Was teal. Mm. Let's see what we can do here. Maybe this one. Yeah, this one I take. It. Glamour glow. 
No. No, that. This one I'm going to take, I think, because it makes the top a little darker. Yes, but. Minus 15 should be enough here. Okay. This uh, plugin uh, is also, of course, available in English too, so. Should be no problem. So, where we have been created using the hacking now. So, so, so. I think I have everything I need. Yes, okay. Why not? But here we don't have our red light anymore. Looks more than a star. But I don't know, I think. Let's, not so much, the opacity, down with the opacity. Something like uh, 50, not think 50. Yes, that's better. Okay, so I'm, now I make everything in a new uh, layer so again control shift alt e and uh, now I want to make some lens flare to add some lens flare here you, you will find if you uh, google uh, to lens flare or something else you will find uh, enough free lens flares uh, you can use so so uh, I have here let's see who, but where I have it where do I have my lights here I have lens flares here and yeah, let's see what we can do. Something like this, it's a nice red lens flare here. It should be, it should have a black background, so, it's, it's, so you can use it easily in Photoshop. So, okay, I drag it to my Photoshop file. Drag it to here. Okay, maybe a little too big, so. Something like that, and if I go now, Another screen. See, it works perfect. So, it's okay. Enter here, okay. Go to my. And we have a nice lens for here. <laughs> T for scale and maybe scale it a little like that. So. Well, why not? Maybe a second one and rotate it a little bit. Let's see. Control J con uh, copies it. T. Uh, J. Control T and rotate it a little bit. Something like that. That's too much, but we can go down with the opacity. Yeah, why not? I think I like it. This could be my result. Maybe I do again my favorite <laughs> shortcut Control Shift A E uh, Control Shift Alt E and again I make a smart object and go to the camera row filter with Control Shift A and again, maybe a little brighter this whole thing so. So, 
Okay. Yes. I think that's it for me. Yeah. Why not? One thing I can I could try is to make this a little brighter. Or we will make a little shine around this. We have here shine, so no, I don't need it. If you want more shine here, you can, you could uh, do it like this. Uh, Control Shift Alt E. Or you don't even need it, no. Back with Control Z. Make a new layer. Go in to, the, to your brush tool. I, with the Alt key you can, uh, you have your pipette here or something, I don't know how it's called, I think pipette. Huh? Eyedropper, okay, <laughs> and take some green color, and now go here in color mode, and say 10% opacity should be enough here. And just you can paint it in a little bit. See, you see the difference? Tuk, tuk. So, so maybe that's a little too much, but it's no problem. Go back with the opacity. Yeah, okay, I think so. That's it now. Save it. That needs a little bit because it's a big file. Yeah, this is our result for now. I hope you like it. And uh, yeah, thank you again. Uh, this, thanks to this guy who, who donated. I don't want to say the name, maybe he don't want to, say, to, to be named. So uh, yeah. And next tutorial, I hope I, I am a little more healthy at the weekend, so I do another tutorial. But uh, this is it for now. And if you have questions, just ask wherever you want, here in the comments or on Facebook or on my uh, website. If you want to donate, you can do it. With, uh, I would appreciate it, of course. And yeah, the cinema for the other uh, the Nicomedia scene rig for cinema for the you can buy for 10 euro if you want. And uh, yeah, the next, yeah, the, as I said, the next update for the rig will come soon too. And yeah, that's it for then for the day. And I wish you a nice Friday and then I wish you a nice weekend, of course. And so, tschüss und baba.